Hey guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and I wanted to share my June hits and misses with you. Um, because I was gone for so long on my California trip, I don't have a ton of new things that I tried out, but um, I really liked most of the things that I, I've tested out a lot this month. And so I'm just gonna start off right away. First of all, I'll talk about this foundation, which I mentioned in my IMATS haul video because I decided to pick up the full-size version, but this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I'm wearing it today in shade number 40, and um, the amazing thing about this foundation is it dries really fast, but when it dries, it dries to this like matte, satiny finish. Like literally, it's one of the few foundations I can put on and I don't have to put on any powder or anything on top of it and it just looks like so nice. Um, my skin is a little bit broken out right now so I, I forgive that. I don't blame this foundation because I used it here and there before I went on my trip as well. Um, anytime I really travel I just break out when I get back. Like it's just terrible but I don't know how well you'll be able to pick it up on the camera but um, it hides all of the spots really well so that's what I really like about it I didn't even use concealer this time so I really like the coverage it's like I would say it's kind of medium coverage but um, enough where I feel comfortable about my hyperpigmentation spots and it's oil free and it has no SPF so it's really good for being camera ready that's probably one of my favorite things about this foundation so this is love um, I'm also going to be trying out the HD. Uh, I've gotten some feedback from people saying 140 is probably going to be too dark for me, so I'm going to stop by Sephora, see if I can exchange it for a better color. But the matte velvet, which I have tried and I used it my entire California trip, I definitely love this a lot. Um, and then the next thing that I also took with me to California was this Josie Marin sunscreen and SPF 40. This is one of the, the biggest things that I was intrigued about this was that it is specifically for people who have sensitive skin, which I've said this over and over, I have incredibly sensitive skin. Ooh, light. Let's see if I can adjust that. I took this along with me to California because I knew I'd be out walking around, be in the sunshine, going to the beach, etc., etc., and I love this sunscreen. I I was really kind of hesitant to use it because I'm so always concerned that I'm going to break out from any product that I use, especially sunscreens, because I've had some trouble with certain sunscreens breaking me out in the past. But this one is supposed to be like pretty natural and the things in it are a physical sunblock. It's not just like chemical sunblocks that might be a little more harmful for your skin and body um, which I really love because that for me it's sort of like less chance of irritation if there aren't as many like harsh chemicals in it and um, it also has argan oil infused with it like all of our products do and because I already liked her argan oil so much and it didn't break me out I was more willing to try this I actually waited until like afterwards to kind of grab for this and see if I would like it since it is quite a bit more expensive than you know my my regular sunblock which is this Eucerin one which I also do love but it's a lot more size to take along in luggage so I wanted to try you know bringing along this smaller one and it, it did me really well it doesn't make me more oily throughout the day or anything like that I think it's really great to have like a natural healthier option for your skin and um, I'm definitely going to repurchase this when I run out of it. And then another skincare th related thing that I tested out this month is this. It's called Juju Aqua Moist 100% Hyaluronic Acid. Um, if you haven't heard of Hyaluronic Acid before, it is a ingredient that's used in a lot of skincare things and what it does is it grabs the moisture in the air and it kind of draws it into whatever it's on so like your skin if you put this on your skin then then the, the water in the air will help to hydrate your skin so it doesn't itself have a whole lot of moisture but as you wear it over time like you can feel as the hours go by, your skin will still be hydrated. So this is actually something that is sort of like, it's just a gel. That's sort of the texture it comes out in. It's quite watery. And it's like, not really sticky like a gel, but it has a little bit of a, a gel coating to it. You can definitely feel it 
sitting on on there and then it absorbs pretty fast when it dries down it just feels like your skin you can't even tell it's there so it's not something where it sits on your skin and feels really heavy it kind of like goes on and sinks in and disappears like pretty completely so I just put this on at night after I wash my face and then I'll use my different which is um, my acne medicine I'll put this on and then after this I'll put on my moisturizer and so it'll grab onto the moisturizer and help keep my skin moisturized through the whole night which is really good I'll wake up in the morning and it, my skin feels like that nice firm youthful bouncy feeling which comes from having really well hydrated healthy skin so so far I've only used this for just a few days so I'll probably do another update with it after I've used it a lot more but so far I like it quite a lot it kind of reminds me of the feeling that my skin gets after I use my um, Mario Badescu vitamin C serum except this one's unscented so if you're um, kind of sensitive to scents uh, this might be a good option for you if you want like really hydrated skin but um, not too heavy for the summertime you know like I, I'm so afraid to wear like a, a heavier night cream in the summer because I don't want to break out but I feel like this is light enough but still holds in a lot of moisture so I do actually really love this that's definitely a hit so this is another thing that I've mentioned before but because I took it on my California trip, I just fell even more in love with it. I'm going to mention my Josie Marin palette, and it's not just the palette. Specifically, I want to talk about this bronzer right here in the middle, which is in shade Beach Number no. 1. Um, the reason I wanted to mention it is because I'm not like a bronzer person. I usually only wear blush, but lately I have just been obsessed with this particular bronzer. Like, I'm wearing it today, no blush at all, and it just gives such a nice pigmented warm golden color and I just think it's like so pretty so so pretty for the summer um, especially if I want to look more natural I just want to look kind of bronze and I don't want to look too girly girly pink baby doll color like if I want to look a little bit more like I've just been getting like a healthy glow from the Sun I just think this is such a wonderful color um, I've used it just on the contours of my cheeks to sort of bring out my face shape and I've also used it like I did today a little more like a traditional blush and I like it both ways um, this color is just so flattering I love it so much and I checked on the Josie Marin website just before I recorded this and it is on sale I think for only $15 for for the individual bronzer and it's, it's probably, probably like maybe this size like it's it's pretty generous size for just a single bronzer and I love it actually this whole palette is on sale as well I think it's normally 45 and it's on sale for $20 and I've been using this my whole California trip so I definitely recommend this as well this is the Josie Marin my favorite powders and specifically I'm obsessed with this bronzer right now and then another thing okay I'm just gonna end up talking about things that I've been using a ton this month I don't know how many misses I've really had this month. Okay, so anyway, this eyeliner. I am in love with this eyeliner. This is the Ico Graffiti Eyeliner Pen. Um, the bad thing about this is it's a little bit hard to get a hold of. You pretty much just have to find it online. Um, you can get this at the Ico website. They are based in the UK. Um, I think, like, London. They're based in London. They have really cute graphics, but the thing that I love about this is let me just draw it on for you it's just such a great really like pigmented black it's not too shiny and it's not really completely matte either but it's just such a great black 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 <laughs> um, I really like that uh, it dries super fast see I'm just rubbing it it's not coming off it's not waterproof, which means that um, if you tear up and stuff, it will kind of like come off a little bit. But 
for the most part, it's really good about staying on all day. It doesn't really affect my false lashes. Like, I can put this on, put my false lashes on, it won't make them lift up, which I've had trouble with with other eyeliners getting too flaky and making my lashes lift up. This is not a problem. Um, I do use an oil-based remover at the end of every day to remove my makeup, so I haven't personally had any issues with removing it. Um, but I can't really say if you just are a soap and water kind of girl. But look, <laughs> just I love doing the rub test because you can't you can't really beat that out, you know. It doesn't budge. So so good. Plus, um, after trying out the Holika Holika liner a little bit more, um, I had to go back to this one because the Holika Holika one definitely, it, it stains your lids a little bit. It's kind of hard to remove. This one, not a problem with that. I would say for like an everyday solid black liquid liner, this is super easy to apply. The brush is like a felt tip pen but it's kind of like flexible. See how it moves along with it? So it's like super easy to apply. Mine right now, it's, it's running out because I've been using it for like a couple months now. I don't know why I didn't use it in a video before. I've done it on tutorials, but I haven't put in my hits and misses. Just slipped my mind because I've been using it every day. So this is kind of running out, but a brand new fresh one won't have those like faded lines. Faded, faded lines. But anyway, I love, love, love this eyeliner. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. I've been using it every day since you don't need anything else. You don't need to use like an eyeliner brush. You don't need to have any fancy like techniques or anything. You just apply it. It's so easy to apply. Um, it feels really nice. It's not too hard. It's not too stiff. And the black is black. True black. And it's just so great. I am raving about this eyeliner. I love it so much. I'm going to keep buying it for as long as I possibly can because it just makes my morning so much faster. So this next item I'm going to talk about is a nail polish color. Um, I just grabbed this one. This is CND Tropic Coral. But I'm more just using it as an example. I'm kind of obsessed with coral polishes at the moment. I'm not going to twist and put my feet up, but my toes are actually a bright orangey coral right now, which I think is just so perfect for the summer, so perfect for the warm weather and everything. If you're looking for a new color to really like brighten up your toes or even your fingernails if you just want something that's a little pop of a little more of like festive color i highly recommend coral polish and then finally i wanted to talk about some brushes that i also took with me to california and that i have been using for quite a while now it seems like every time i use these brushes people are always asking me what brushes are you using some of my favorite brushes that i've been using and i haven't really talked a whole lot about are called makeup show brushes if i can show you the name right there makeup show this is a little brush bag that i took with me to california i kind of shoved a bunch of other random brushes in it like this one's a a rock and republic blush or brush this is a, a sedona lace brush just because i like extra you know fluffy generic eyeshadow brushes in there just to to have. So these are just a few of my makeup show brushes that I took with me to California and I really really love these brushes. Not only are they super adorable and classy because they have these wooden handles, so cute, um, but they're really soft. They're really great quality. I've been planning to kind of talk about them for a while because I really use them a lot and they're really great. I'll just talk about the ones that I have. This big fluffy one is just a powder one, and I like how it's just a really round shape. It's not like too fluffy, it, it just, it's so soft. It's so, so soft. It just like feels amazing when it's on. And it's like slightly tapered, so if you want accurate powder application like around your nose and your T-zone area, it gets in those areas really well. This one, I the smaller one I use for my blush, it's just sort of like smaller from the side and a little wider from the front. Um, and then I just grabbed a few of mine. I have some more of these makeup show brushes that I didn't take with me, but um, these are the ones I did take. Uh, 
I have like a flat one that I've been using for my highlight shade. This one I've just been using for like basic eyeshadow application. This round one, um, I've, I've been really loving. It's very compact and very... The, the bristles are very um, thickly attached. It's like, a, it's very dense. That's the word I'm looking for. And that's really great because um, instead of using like a fluffier brush to blend things out, if you do like a precise eyeshadow color application, it's a lot easier to blend it out because it's so dense. It's very, very precise for blending. And then this one I've been loving. It's, it's really, really tiny. And if I just dab it in a little bit of eyeshadow, it's perfect for smudging out eyeshadow on your lower lash line for doing like smokier eyes. So I've been loving my Makeup Show brushes. I've been using them for quite a long time. So all those people asking, what are those brushes you're using with the wooden handles? They are Makeup Show brushes. I really, really do actually recommend these a lot. Very, very soft, very good quality. Um, I will add links, of course, to the bottom for where you can get these. I know it's not like, like people haven't really heard about these before. Um, so I will give you the link to where you can purchase it, of course. I mentioned this in a review video already, but I did talk about this Eucerin body lotion, which I was not a huge fan of. I won't elaborate too much because I already talked about it in the review, which I will put an annotation for right here if you would like to see it. But I guess that is my one miss for this month, just so I have one. Anyway, I guess that is about it. If you would like to see any more information, you can always visit my blog from headtotoe.com. If you have any questions, you can ask me quickly at twitter.com slash from head to toe. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.